Hey, good afternoon, good morning. So here's a story about a young girl that I tried to help out with this instrument right here, and it didn't go as well as it could have. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, YouTube Eye Doctor, and today we are talking about the treatment of myopia with atropine, and one of the instruments that's key for doing this is this instrument right here, and this is called a biometer, and what it does is it measures the axial length or the length of the eyeball, and why that's important for optometrists and for your child is because it can tell us where your child is in the growth curve and what their risk is for developing high myopia when they're an adult. But first of all, before I get into that story, you need to know why it's a problem if you're a high myope when you're an adult. And it's not because you just might have thick glasses. The main concern for myopes as an adult is that your eyeball is much larger than average. And what that means is all the retinal tissue and all the ocular tissue is stretched much more than it needs to. And that puts you at a higher risk for developing conditions like glaucoma, retinal detachments, retinal tears, or myopic maculopathy and those can cause reduced vision. So if we can keep your eyeball from being really large to being a little bit smaller, that can reduce the risk. So this young girl, she first came and saw me for an eye exam when she was about eight years old and already she had a pretty high prescription. Her prescription was about minus five diopters, which is much, much higher than we would expect for any eight-year-old girl. Now, we took a measurement of her axial length with this biometer, which tells us how long her eyeball is, and it showed us that her axial length was over the 98th percentile, which means she was at much higher risk for developing higher, higher myopia, because basically, when you're eight years old, you still have a lot of growing to do, and your body's gonna grow, and that's also gonna include your eyeball. And so I recommended and encouraged this family that we should do some type of option to slow down the myopia in this child. So because of her high prescription and her high astigmatism, we didn't have a lot of options at our disposal. So the myopia management lenses that were available at that time didn't go up as high in her prescription as she needed. Likewise, the myopia management contact lenses did not go as high as she needed in her prescription. So one of the only options that left us with was with low dose atropine eye drops designed to slow down the growth of the eyeball. So I encouraged the family, gave them lots of information on what they should do, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, whether they got busy, other things that were a priority, they chose not to choose that option. So I saw them the next year when the girl was nine. And so we took another measurement of her axial length, of her eyeball, and her eyeball was growing even more. And so I said, we really should consider some type of option like low dose atropine eye drops to slow down the progression of the myopia. Again, for whatever reason, family got busy, lots of other things going, other priorities, the family chose not to choose that option. The next year she came in, she was 10 years old, and we took a measurement of the eyeball length and the prescription, and the prescription was increasing even more, and the axial length growing even more. And I said, look, the prescription now is pretty high. It's up to about minus six, about minus seven. Much, much higher than we want for any 10-year-old. And she has a lot of growing left to do. We really need to look at some type of option to slow down the progression of myopia in this child. And the great news is the family said, hey, yeah, we see that now. Let's look at this option. And so we put this child on low dose atomine eye drops. Basically, she uses an eye drop, one drop at each eye every evening. And I said, because I'm very concerned about the growth, let's follow her every three months so we can watch carefully the progression and if this treatment is being effective. So here's the result. We started the low dose atropine right here and look at the growth of the eyeball. It almost stopped the growth of the eyeball completely, and likewise, it stopped the progression of her myopia. Now, it's only been about six months that this child has been on the low-dose atropine eye drops, but I am super, super excited that we can slow down the growth of the eyeball in this child and likely slow down the progression of the myopia and hopefully reduce her risk for eye disease as an adult. So she's gonna be on this atropine eye drop for quite a few years. She's only 10, but she's not having any symptoms. There's no issue using the eye drop, and it's effective. And so this is a great news story and a common situation of what happens when we put children on low dose atropine to slow down their myopia. Now the big regret that I have in this situation is that I wasn't more persuasive when this child was younger to try to get this family to use 
the atropine eye drops for their child. But I'm so happy that she's on it now, the family's happy, and things are going great. And so the take home message that you need to have is if your child is myopic, or if your child is not myopic, and it has a high axial length for their age, you should really consider some type of myopia management option to slow down the progression of the growth of the eyeball so their myopia doesn't get stronger. And with that, have a great optometry day.